In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to turn on the call waiting feature in here, which looks just like this. One. For example, let's say that you are on a phone call currently running or talking to somebody and suddenly you receive a secondary call. So if you turn on call waiting feature in here, instead of that call not reaching out to you or instead of that person simply hearing a busy number notification, you'll actually see this feature right here and that person will be able to call you and you'll and your phone will ring. So basically, if you activate this feature, you'll be able to choose whether you want to hold the current call and pick up the second call, or if you simply wish to deny that second call. So this is a very useful feature, an important feature that I really recommend you guys to turn it on on your phone. So you make sure you do not miss any call whenever somebody tries to call you, even though you are on a different call talking to somebody else. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues. And I also share cool tech hacks and tutorials in this channel. So if you're into tech content, if you really like tutorials and hacks, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel and do not forget to turn on the bell icon so you get notified as soon as I upload a brand new video here to the YouTube channel. Now jumping straight into today's video in here, the very first thing that I would like to do is to clearly explain how do you actually manage this. I know how annoying and how confusing this might look like, but I'm going to break it down to you to show what exactly each of the buttons in here mean. For example, let's say we do have the first one at the left, the second one here in the middle and the right here at the right, right? So you do not know what to do. For example, if you tap on decline, you might be asking yourself, will my current phone call be ended up or if I'm just declining the call which is coming? So I'm going to show you how to understand this. So the very first action here at the left will actually end up your current call and then you'll immediately automatically accept this second second call. Okay, so you end and accept. By tapping once, you're ending your current call and picking up the second one. Now, the second button here at the middle is a call for you to decline the call which is incoming, the second call, okay? For example, let's say you're talking to someone, somebody else calls you, you hear the beeps while you are on the call, simply tap on decline to decline the new incoming call. Now, here at the right, the third action allows us to keep on hold the current call and accept the secondary call. Call. This is the easiest action to actually interpret, right? Hold the current one, accept the second one, and then end up the secondary call and go back to the first one without hanging the line, okay? Now, here we do have the remind me and the message option, which are clearly easy things to do in here. Remind me will remind you in a few minutes or seconds about the call and message will actually simply decline the incoming call and reply with a text message, which is usually automatic stuff like, hey, sorry, I can't talk right now. I'm busy. I'll call you right back or this sort of automatic types of reply. Now moving straight into the steps to turn on the call waiting here on your iPhone. The very first thing you need to do is hop into settings real quick. Next up, you need to scroll down all the way to apps down here. We do have the apps feature. You want to tap on apps real quick and then you want to scroll down once again until you find phone. Okay. So you want to go all the way to phone down here. There we go. Under letter P, tap on phone to open up the settings, which are actually related to the phone app. Now, if you find a hard time finding apps in here, if you simply do not see apps, do not worry, simply tap on search here at the bottom or at the top, depending on the software that you're running on your iPhone, and then simply search manually for phone, right? There we go. I've got phone right here tap once on phone and here we go we're now looking at the same settings page that i have showed before next up you want to scroll down all the way to call waiting here under calls category as you can see we've got in here call forwarding and then call waiting you want to tap here once on call waiting now in my case, for example, I do have two different numbers in my phone. I've got a normal SIM card and then I've got an eSIM. So you want to select which number you wish to turn on the call waiting feature, right? It's important to actually decide which number because you may choose, for example, to turn on the call waiting feature for the first number, but the second one you want it to actually ring as if it's a busy line. Okay, so in my case, I'll tap on the first one, for example, and then I'll tap here on call waiting. As you can see, it's simply loading and then you just need to tap here to toggle it on and call waiting feature will be turned on immediately. So from now onwards, everybody that calls me while I'm already on a call will simply be able to make my phone ring and to notify myself and that phone call will not be cut. Okay, by simply turning on the call waiting here. Now, if you do have another numbers, for example, I've got a second here, you can also tap on that second 
second number and then you can also turn call waiting as well if you wish to turn on to all those numbers in my case i want to turn it on it's already on to be honest and that's how you can actually turn it on now most important thing once you're done actually turning on the call waiting feature in here normally when you change settings on your phone and you calibrate i would recommend you guys to perform a forced restart or simply a restart just to make sure that all the settings are updated and it's working already and do not worry this doesn't delete any data on your phone it's just a deep restart and actually rebooting your iphone as if it was in a deep sleep to make it process much faster and to update a few settings and in order to perform a forced restart on an iphone 8 or later models for example let's say you have an iphone x 11 12 13 all the way to iphone 17 all you need to do is rapidly tap on volume up and then down and then press and hold the power button until you see the apple logo this is how it goes one to pressing and holding the side button or the power button do not release that button keep on holding or keep on pressing the power button there we go I'm still pressing it here do not release it and once I see the Apple logo here on my screen I'm gonna release that button to let my iPhone turn on now what happens is your phone actually cuts all the power that was being sent to your motherboard or to simply your main board on your phone and then simply it juices it up back with power supply in order to reboot it from scratch now if you do have an iphone 7 or 7 plus model in order for you to perform a forced restart you just need to press and hold the volume down button in here along with the power button press and hold both of the keys combination keep on holding for five to seven seconds until you see the apple logo on your screen and then you're going to release those keys combination and let your iphone turn on normally now if you're running a much older device with the physical home button down here you just need to press and hold the power button along with the physical home button press and hold both of the keys combination until you see the apple logo on your screen so once you see the apple logo you're gonna release the keys combination to let your iphone turn on normally now please note that on much older devices the physical power button here is located at the top right so you're gonna press the power button at the top along with the physical home button in here this is usually for iphone 4 or iphone iPhone 5 model devices right there so once you're done doing that all you want to do is simply turn on your iphone normally type in your password and you'll be good to go with your iphone call waiting feature already turned on in here thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if you find my content useful consider subscribing like the video and let me know down in the comment section below if you do have any questions or doubts i would like to deeply thank all of you guys for supporting the youtube channel fixed by shack we're now crossing 40,000 subscribers and this wouldn't be possible without you guys. The main aim of this channel is to help people fix tech related issues so you can save up some money and avoid paying high fees for something that you can do on your own. If you find my content useful here, do not forget to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment below and also share with your friends the videos here which are in the YouTube channel because by doing so you're actually helping the channel growing and to reach out to more people and also ultimately help more people fixing tech related issues. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.